Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Uh, it's going to be my play session here for Path of Exile 2. Uh, it is one that I have uh, not a lot of hands-on experience with. Um, I did play Path of Exile 2, the, the first, first thing that they had in the last ExileCon many years back, but that was still one. It was part of the um, Path of Exile 1 client, I guess we're calling it. Um, so I haven't played this at all, even though it's the second day of ExileCon. I've been busy. Uh, I had maybe a small chance to play at the end of the day yesterday, uh, and uh, Rania kind of held me back. It's like, oh no. That would, that would tarnish the experience of your first playthrough. So yes, absolutely, she was right. And we are going to check it out here. Um, I actually really wanted to try the Huntress because the Huntress is uh, kind of like the first intro that I saw to Path of Exile 2, so I was quite interested to get my hands and try it. So now I, well, I finally get to do that. Um, and uh, normally when I play, a lot of the keybinds are quite different than than the ones that I'm sure are default here, inventory, yeah. So this might be a little bit of a little bit of a different experience. The seed has certainly passed. Okay. Sure. Let's see how this works. Walking around. I have been told that, you know, the the, the feel for the game takes a little bit of getting used to because it does playing feels a little bit different than Path of Exile 1. And I've also been told that generally the hardest characters to complete their kind of 45 minute campaign so run or so. Of the you are seeking. We're getting quests Perhaps here. The Defeat the Sun Clan Hyenas. Sure. If I can help them. Oh, let's see what we actually are using. Rapid Assault. Okay. Okay, what's that? Whirling Slash. Oh, so that just kind of stays on there. 11 mana. Extra lightning damage. Do we get lightning damage from the skill? Oh, and we have the lightning damage from the weapon. Chance to maim. And we have chance to deflect. Oh, I was reading Reddit about this. I think deflect is kind of like spell suppression, but for um, for non-spell hits, for me for melee, I guess. I guess that would be it. Whirling slash, perform a circular slash. Okay. It seems to last a couple seconds. Leaving the area unleashes a swirling storm. Oh, I see. So it's like an area hit. And then if I leave, it blows up. Got it. Okay. Let's see how much damage that does, roughly. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, Path of Exile 2, uh, the only hands-on experience that we get is kind of this demo, and this demo is tuned to be very difficult. So I can dodge out of it, which is pretty nice. I can spam that, right? So I do that dodge. I mean, I guess it takes some time because the dodge roll does take a little bit to work. The jab does seem pretty powerful. Okay, one skill at a time. Um, hits stun enemies as of dealing 50% more damage. Looks like it has a good damage multiplier because that lightning damage is getting doubled by about 200%. Uh, where are my gems actually? Okay, so S is gems. Okay, why don't I actually check out the skills this way? So Rapid Assault is actually not all that rapid in terms of the attack speed modifier, but I guess it does a lot of hits. It does seem to do quite a bit of damage, though. Final Strike does 288. Oh, I see. I see. That's why it has that. So that's pretty good, actually. The Whirling Slash. Slowing enemies and blinding them in its area. Oh, I see. So you're going to get that accuracy bonus. It might be good to use for the damage, but at least per stage. Oh, I see. Using an attack in the storm as one stage, the maximum of three stages. So you want to put this up, do some combat in it, and then run out. But that's a little bit counterintuitive because usually you want to open up with AoE to get rid of the weaker monsters in the area. Okay. Spear field. I like that. Okay, what did that do? Stab the ground, causing multiple spears. Uh, to burst, burst dot out of the ground. Okay. Spears remain for the duration or explode when enemies touch them. It requires a spear. 
increase effective maim. Now in PoE 1, maim increases physical damage dealt to the target. I'm hoping that's still the same. Uh, Herald of Thunder grants a buff. Oh, so we should, we should probably get that going. Oh, that's all my spirit. Okay. <laughs> um, Converts 100% physical to lightning. Interesting. Is that is that all of my skills? No, that's just the damage from the Herald of Thunder. You don't want to take things for granted. I mean, I have never played it before. Um, killing shocked enemies is kind of kind of the same. Okay, that's good. I actually quite like the Heralds in, uh, in the regular game. Uh, Storm Spear converts fist to lightning. Six extra projectiles. Spears cannot split. Okay, modifiers the number of projectiles instead apply to the maximum number of lightning bolts fired. That is slow. Okay. That's quite a wind-up time. When it when it hits an enemy, it bursts firing bolts of lightning at multiple other enemies. That seems very nice. And we have puncture. Do we have puncture? Oh, that's that's the cube. Okay. Lunge forward, melee damage, more powerful, it requires a spear, causes bleeding, 200% more damage based on the distance traveled, hits stun as though dealing 50% more, that's probably really good for single target. And impale, jump back from the target, dealing melee damage and attempting to immobilize them, cannot be performed without targeting an enemy. Immobilize as though dealing more damage, I guess the immobilize effect is based on the damage, a lot of the effects seem to be based on the damage. Let's just try some of the skills here, so puncture. Okay, well, it, it still died in one hit. That's pretty good. Let's see how these work. Is that is that like getting hit? Oh, I see. Yeah. So as as it's walking towards me, it's getting hit by the spears. It's not a lot of damage, but it does add up for one attack. It probably adds up to quite a lot. Let's try storm spear. Storm spear does quite a bit. I like that. Okay. Character is like no movement speed right now, so I gotta be pretty careful. So far, I'm digging the the, the lightning skill quite a lot. All right, I'll just keep using that for now. Once we get to harder targets, I'll probably try to mix it up a little bit. But um, normally, these playthroughs are about 45 minutes. You can play above 45 minutes. Uh, it like locks you up, but you can log back in if you really want to play some more. But my goal is to try to finish the playthrough with the Huntress and then move on and play uh, the Warrior, which is the Act 4 one, which I have been told is the hardest one. Generally, the difficulty seems to be with the overall amount of time it takes to cast skills, and the warrior is unfortunately very slow at that. And of course, that's just for the demo. Man, I really like this lightning skill. It just feels really satisfying to use. You have to aim it, but you don't have to try that hard to aim it. The clear is very good, and you have like this kind of cone effect on it, so you know, funneling the monsters toward a, a certain area seems to pay out. What is, what is this stone thing? Okay, let's just try some of the other skills. I think I had a Herald of Thunder proc on that one. Oh yes, mana. We use that now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, see that, that like field thing doesn't really seem to do very well against these. It is a wider range on it, so it's probably a bit better if there's really just a ton of monsters around. Oh, that's really nice actually. So jumping back with that does seem to be a pretty effective move. Oh, I see, but it's still a pretty pretty melee-oriented attack. 
Oh, and my, my hits don't go up there. Interesting. Dodge roll is quite slow, but uh, I believe the dodge roll is based on your um, on your overall movement speed. Let's just try to go for it here. So we're getting we're getting kind of pelted by the monsters around. I probably should be a little bit further from them. I'm hoping maybe I can outrange them. We are going to die here, I think. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to react when I am getting like surrounded like that. Okay, okay, okay. We got a, we got a humbling experience there. This, no, that is that is not even close to being better. Okay, those all my gear sucks actually. Okay, so we want to not get surrounded, and probably if we do get surrounded, we want to kind of be. Let me see if I can actually hit these. No, it doesn't look like I can. Try to use puncture a little bit. Oh yeah, puncture is doing tons here. Oh, we can immobilize the bosses. That's right. Okay. Now there's. Probably some negative synergy with uh, puncture and immobilizing, but uh, as, as long as we're not getting hit, we should be fine. Wow, I should not have got hit by that. <laughs> not, I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to use when I'm surrounded like that. Maybe I should be preemptively using the Whirling Slash. Uh, yeah, I tried using the Impale, but you kind of get stunned when there's so many targets. I tried using the Storm Spear, but you kind of get stunned when there's so many targets. I guess I can do kind of a preemptive Spear Field, and I can do a little bit of a preemptive Whirling Slash. So... Why don't I try to focus on that? Actually, why don't we, why don't we see if it works on these? I mean, it, it does seem to be quite effective, actually. It probably... Probably is designed to be be used that way. So, okay, 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 we got we got we got an actual plan now. kind of dodging towards the boss, it does seem to kind of get me stuck around him. Oh man, why am I getting stuck there? Okay, okay. Oh my god. Nope. Okay. Okay. So I, I probably could have done that way better. 
I wonder if I leashed the boss, though. That that may have been not the best move. Yeah, we leashed the boss. Of course, we leashed the boss. Well, that that would have been that would have been too easy. So I I guess we have to fight in this arena here. Getting stunned while doing your like rollback does seem to be quite a problem. Okay, so we kind of have to do what I just did, except way better. Okay, just just be better. We can do that. Okay, so that didn't immobilize. Soon. It happens not quite when he's at 50. So we wanna we wanna maybe start setting up a little bit here. Actually maybe it does happen when he's 50. Or did we skip it because we killed them all earlier? Like the um, the swirling area, like the more the more AOE focus skills, I feel like they cost quite a lot of mana. Yeah. Oh, now they're coming. Oh, that's not good. I can't move. No. I see. I should be doing that maybe in front of me and then running through it. Oh, yeah. I was kind of doing that wrong. I'm pretty sure I still counts with the boss cut, though. Some boots, sure. Okay. Okay. What's next? Oh, we have to speak to someone in town. Yeah, as fun as the lightning thing is, it's very much a skill that you want to be using to clear at range. Like, like that kind of stuff. Otherwise, it's not particularly useful. So I guess that's kind of the idea of having like a, a multitude of skills. What did I do? I'm not ready yet. Oh, that's that. Okay, I see. Uh, okay, sure. Let's see what the quest brings. Uh, board the caravan. Where's that? Where's the caravan? I don't know where the caravan is. Is it here? It's probably just in a different part of the map. Actually, I should probably go through the map just in case. I should probably see if these are upgrades, right? Like, yeah, those can't be very... <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I guess the evasion difference might uh, might make some difference. Let's see if we can put our, our gold to use, actually. Oh, that's the caravan. Okay, good. I figured that out by accident. Um, we have vendors here. I don't see vendors here. Vendors? No vendors? No vendors. Okay, well, I guess let's continue on. 
I kind of want to see if I could use my gold for any form of purpose right now, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. Clever. A village. Oh, I see. Who goes there? Okay, what, what can we buy? So we're using hunting spears. Okay. Uh, eight fourteen. Four hundred gold. It's a little bit less damage. Doesn't have the name. Yeah, that's that's Watch probably that's probably a no deal. Okay. We get flasks here. Are these any better? They are worse. One fifty. The life flasks are a bit better. One fifty. Uh, gain a charge or you kill an enemy. That seems pretty good. You know what? I think I'm gonna got to invest in your flasks, right? A thousand gold. We don't have rings. We do have rings. I probably will go with that. Okay. Why not? The young one. Uh. Why don't we save that and see if we get a three to one? So we actually got um, we actually got gold for all of our vendors here. We will deliver you. Okay. Here we are. You may disembark from that side. Guards, lower the ramp. Oh, I see. I think I actually remember this a little bit from one of the highlights they've done for Poe too. Okay, we finally get to play it. We shall wait here. The echoes are strange here, like whispers carried on the winds. Is that a rare? Oh my goodness. See if these have any base that oh no, those are horrendous. Okay. I think it's the the Herald of Thunder proc that's really doing a lot of the AoE. I think the actual lightning skill, the lightning spear thing, I think that itself is not doing that much damage. But it seems to be hitting a lot of targets, which ends up rocking the uh, Herald of Thunder if there's enough of them. I think that's that's why the clear is quite good on that. It's not quite the skill itself doing the damage. That's why it was so poor when I was doing it on the bosses, and that's why sometimes it it performs a lot, a lot worse than other times. But overall, it seems to be pretty effective. I guess Herald of Thunder is quite good in general. I wonder if I get, like, I, I leveled to 18 earlier, but I don't know if I actually get any power from that. I believe the demo has a pretty locked-in skill tree and uh, character configuration. Yeah, so the dodge roll is much slower when I'm getting uh, snared by that web thing. So I actually want to maybe not be using the dodge roll very much because I can get kind of locked in it. Because again, I believe I believe the dodge roll works off of your movement speed. Well, that's what I heard, and and that is a little bit of confirmation. It's really funny is this lightning skill, though. I gotta say. Okay, we got another rare. Let's see. Another trophy. Okay, we got a blue. Yes. No. All right. Actually, energy shield might be pretty good because we have basically no recovery right now. It is worth a consideration, but the problem is I don't believe I can even use it. Only 27 inches. We'll see. Is that, is that like a checkpoint? I think the blue thing is a checkpoint. 
course. Oh, the, the, the fire thing does damage. Right, of, of course it does. Oh, he keeps doing that. Right. Okay, okay. You know what? It, it, it might take a couple of attempts here. Oh, I remember this from the last presentation. So he can't he can't hit those anymore. Okay, that's that's the blow up. So he can he can definitely still do damage with that. But then he's gonna do the ceiling thing this time, right? And it can still hit you there. Okay, good. But now we have a bigger light area, and we we will out. Okay, so this this is the big AOE. Okay, we get hit a little bit. But then the next one he's gonna do like a melee hit or something, right? No. Okay, it's the punch that was doing the damage. Okay. Oh, he, he's, he's spicing it up. He's trying to... Okay. So we can get behind him. Them. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's not go. attack is doing so much damage. I bet I can just like go toe to toe with him. How much gold do we get? We're gonna need some more movement speed on this character. I, I I saw that coming. I was running, but wait, where's my where's my loot? All right, we're gonna be an auto attack Andy here, guys. Well, it's not auto attack, it's the rapid assault. Okay. Mm. Oh, we just used. There we go, 10 fire resist. Why not? I do like that mechanic. They did mention that most of the, uh, the bosses you encounter will be dropping permanent character buffs. So far, so good. Mm, that's the evasive one. So you actually want to maybe blind that. But let's just, just wrap it assault anyway. That was the haste of... Oh. oh, so the minions get the buff. I see. Getting a... Getting a lot of axes. Hmm. Not sure we're going to be able to use the uh, javelin like attacks or axes. Six statues, six tribes, six seconds. What happened here? Okay, that was a really, really bad idea. Poison damage is actually doing quite a bit. All right. Oh, wow, I had a 43 shock on that thing. Wow, okay. Maybe the damage is not too bad. Maybe it should be uh, 
interleaving a few lightning hits, but the lightning attack is pretty slow. That is that is something to consider. These bodies are fresh. Time for the real hunt to begin. All right. Got a gem. Frozen Nexus. What is that? Sport of skills create chill ground for two seconds when they freeze an enemy. Huh. Yeah. So uh, I guess we'll just keep that in inventory for now. How did your people even build this? So really, the, 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 the game we're playing here is don't get surrounded. That's the game, okay? We get surrounded, we die. Okay. Those activate. Charge this up and see. I kind of want to see just how much the bleed damage does, because I've been using it on bosses, but I'm, I'm not sure it does actually that much at all. Ah, uh, maybe it does. It probably is worth using. Yeah, so probably on boss we want to do a mix of, of puncture, the blind thing, the upper accuracy, and evasion. There is actually some reason for all of these skills on this character, which is kind of interesting. I do wonder, though, if that will remain as the character levels up, or if we can specialize it a bit further. Uh, but also those skills do use quite a lot of mana. Supposed to get to the second gate, fight, fight our way through it. Let's see if I'm a little bit better now with like getting surrounded. We, we do want to practice our weaknesses. There's, there's going to be a good chance that we're going to run up against those uh, situations a little bit more. Step seems to be very effective. The boss has like quite a long animation lock. running away from this boss too much, I guess. A glaive. Oh, what? Oh, Glaive is a two-handed axe. Yes. Of course it is. Okay, second gate. Where's that at? Probably this way, I'm guessing. Because these are champions here. Wow, they do a lot of damage.
Okay, winged spear. This is a spear, right? This is, okay, yeah, that's a spear. Uh, so it's more damage and higher attack space. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, all right, let's go. Okay. Sure. Okay, so now we won't be shocking as much because we don't have lightning damage on the thing, but we were getting 43 shocks, so the the rare occasions of shocks were, were working out pretty well. The difference in attack speed is very, very noticeable. It's not so because like you, you can dodge, you can animation cancel, so it's not that. It's that you're just uh, with higher attack speed, you're going to end up finishing more casts. Oh wait, chess actually dropped things? Interesting. Yeah, I don't think we want that. Fight your way to the third gate. Okay. The NPC does look pretty similar to some of the enemies I'm fighting, so I'm, I'm whiffing a little bit here, but uh, mana does seem to be pretty plentiful right now. Chain! Oh, yeah? Okay, what's that do? Less damage with hits. Oh. Um, I don't believe the, the, the lightning thing. Right, it can't chain. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll ignore that one too, then. Do you want to kind of have some support gems here? I wonder if I can find some. Actually, maybe they were on a vendor. I'm so used to playing Ruthless, where it's uh, you, you know the gems are entirely drop based. And it might not necessarily be the case here. So everything leveled. Oh, it's ready to level up. Okay. Uh, how do we how do we level? Okay. Got it. Okay, cool. So there, there is some some power gain from just killing a bunch of things. Not too bad. Got a checkpoint. I've played through quite a lot of areas. I wonder if. Phase two. So, something's happening. Oh, we have to kill the idols. Okay, I got it. There's more. Try to go for a stun there, but looks like not quite. He must not escape. Chase? Where are we chasing? All right. Quickly! He controls the very sands against us. Okay. Do we get more mobs, or are we just uh, still in the boss fight here? I mean, that's that's just how I say hi to people. I throw a giant spear at them. I should talk to Asala. 
She must this. Okay, can we bind him in good? Chance to block. Oh, that one actually has block. Oh, that has some pretty nice stats on it, though. Claw, that's a nice claw. Fizz. Okay, I want that. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, it's got a lot of life, but... Mmm, no, those are pretty good. Okay, do I have the gold for that? Barely. All right. So... So, all this stuff. That's the old gloves. Kind of wanted the helmet. Let's see how much gems actually sell for. One gold. Whoa. Okay. You will be remembered. That's that's not gonna happen. Okay. So that gives you some life regen, which is pretty nice, because uh, flat life regen when you don't have a whole lot of life adds up to quite a bit. Oh, ice spear. From what you. All right. You farewell. Uh, question Risu. Makar Khan. The Faridun have... Mm -hmm. Welcome. We know where the lost... Okay, let's see if, uh, let's mm -hmm. see if Ice Spear is going to fit well here. What does Ice Spear do? Throw an icy copy of your spear. It's cold damage after a short distance. Mass boosting its damage. When the spear breaks, it deals damage in a cone shape behind them. Well... All right, that sounds like we're going to make some of the support gems that we have. So we do that. We're doing chain. And we're doing frozen nexus. What are we getting rid of? I feel like it's very AOE. And I feel like I'm not using spear field very much. How, how does that work here? I just, just kind of pick. Oh, I see. Yes, it's the same system. Okay, good. Um, we can have spear field on middle mouse. So honestly, I don't, I don't think I'll be using it that much. Welcome. What? We know where the lost city is. Are we not going to Kept? Or am I just constantly going to Kept? Yes. There is a save my people. Hmm? Nice on bad lines. Okay. Though events demand you. I see, okay. Because we're, we're on like the moving caravan. I see. All right. Noble creatures. And Let's see how this how end. this looks. That is a very slow cast. Winter's fight! Did I just get meteored? Let's just uh, pull up a whole bunch of monsters and see just how bad of an idea it is. They bring the very bones back to life. Let's hope they don't count us on something bigger. That doesn't seem like that bad maybe actually. Okay. Search for the entrance of the bone pits. Alright. We do have some champs here. That Necromancer is raising a lot of guys when he's choosing to. Okay, that spear base type does appear to be a bit worse. That, that looks bone pitsy, possibly.
It does seem to be like a pretty open map here. I'm not really sure which direction I should be heading, but we, we're going with up and we're sticking to it. Hey, look at that. All right. The light here is unnatural. This place is... Mastodon tusks is what we're searching for. Oh, there they are. Boss time? That's that's a big boy. Oh, I can't level it up because of the stacked stat requirements. Got it. You know what? I don't really want the chain. So I think without chain, I can maybe level it. Let's just pick that up. Nope. Alright, it's fine. Hey, Bone Golem. Very fun to just run around, throw lightning spears. Okay, time's up. So are we are we on the 45 marker? Okay. So if I go back in, is it like a fresh run? Oh man, I guess I was slower than I thought. Yeah, rip. Okay, fine. Let us try. The warrior. Apparently, slow makes everything hard, and the warrior is certainly slow in this playthrough. Let's see what it's like. Oh, friend, not interested. Doctor Rog. What can I do for you? Hello there. Uh, that's not really what I want to be like. Okay. okay. I have a charter. What is this now, gear like? Let's see about that ship. I mean, it's got extra damage. Extra, I mean, this gear looks... Whoa, what? Holy moly. Okay, yeah, this this gear looks pretty so good. Fine, Where are we going now? Um, uh, Makoru about hiring a ship. Let's do that. All right. Let's quickly just browse over the skills. So we got Armor Breaker. Not a lot of damage, but it breaks armor. So I guess it's got Ruthless. Impacting Shockwave with splash damage. Okay, so we get like a splash armor break. And we get a stun because of the Ruthless. Herald of Ash. Infernal Cry. 20% damage as extra fire damage per 5 power. So we basically get 100 of Fizz as extra fire. We get the Combust Effect. We do get the Combust Effect. Oh, this looks fun. Sunder. Slam Ruthless is just a strike skill, so it wouldn't work on Sunder. Leap Slam is a slam skill. Rolling Slam, it's a slam, slam again. And a supercharged slam. So I guess Ruthless can only really go on the armor breaker. We're looking forward. Okay. Where are we going? Uh, prison. Hedge Bay. Let's do Isle of Kin. Why not? Again, I haven't really seen a whole lot of the gameplay, just very surface level stuff. So, um, in terms of direction here, this is very much the first time going through it. Uh, how do we get off the ship? I see. As you normally would, I suppose. Let's just see some of the attacks. So that's the armor breaker. That's pretty slow. Rolling slam. That looks fun. Does that do damage? 390. Mm. Okay. Supercharged slam. Actually, let's get our uh, Herald of Ash going. A little, little bit more damage. Loop slam, Infernal Cry is on W. I'm going to change that up, I think. 
let's put Leap Slam there. Let's do Infernal Cry there. Super Charge Slam. We can channel it. Pretty cool. Uh, wow, Leap Slam does a lot of damage. What's that about? Oh, the attack time is really high. <laughs> the attack time is two seconds on that one. One second, 0.9 seconds. Okay, Infernal Cry, and then we have Sunder. Okay. Well, let's kill some stuff. seem like the uh, the armor debuff that I'm doing makes quite a big difference, at least in those big guys. Rolling slam. They are the substance. For what purpose? We got Infernal Cry. You guys know how this works. Yeah, easy. How is this hard? Okay. If you ignore the bosses anyway. play with screen shake but playing with screen shape when uh, I'm kind of focusing on like the abilities and how they feel it does feel pretty good uh, these are okay those are not rocks. Well, they're rocks, but they're they're not rocks. Well, now they're definitely. Whoa, they're, whoa, they're exploding on me. That is that is a problem. Holy moly, that thunder feels slow. We're definitely gonna have to be using the uh, the strike skill quite a lot here, just to not get animation locked, really. I'm gonna try a leap slam and see if it's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay. Let's try a leap slam without infernal. We get the stun. Wow. Okay. We're just gonna leap slam spam here. I think. It's maybe not the best use of damage, but uh, it's not bad. Maybe like an on death effect on those or something. Oh, oh, that's. We're back on the boat? On the boat? Oh, man. Okay. All right. On the boat it is. Let's see just the slam. Yeah, just just the slam is not not a lot of damage. But the slam is pretty good because you get the stun effect. And 
you're not quite as vulnerable because you're very much moving when you're doing it. Now, I think I'm going to have to run exactly to where I was. Yeah, I'm going to have to run exactly back to where I was. I think we were on the very edge of the next zone. It's fun, guys. Good cardio. Yes, the checkpoint. Okay, that is most certainly a boss area there. All right, let's see what we got. This doesn't look good. should be trying to use like the range attacks a bit more ranged ish they use so much mana though Here. Ah, that's fine, guys. It's all right. It's all right. Not a big deal. Yeah, I don't think this is going to go down. We're going to need a few more potions. in the air. All right, I'll take it. Well, I think my little segment here only has uh, another minute or so, so I think I will call it there. It's been pretty fun. Uh, I have to say, if you guys are at ExalCon, give it a try. Maybe you'll have a little better luck with Warrior than I did, but I certainly had a lot of fun with the Huntress. Speed is the name of the game in the demo. But uh, for the game, it will be a while longer. I think in terms of the show, there is, uh, I think it's an audio presentation. Yes, it's a developer talk with sound design and music of Path of Exile 2. And that's with Kane and Camille. And that's coming up pretty soon. But yeah, there's going to be a lot more uh, presentations throughout the day. There's going to be a lot more developer talks. So today's show is largely going to be uh, that with a few gameplay mixed in. But uh, for you ARPG buffs, uh, this is going to be your day. So pay attention and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day.